David. Live at 5, a huge tree trapped a family inside their home for hours, Megan. Well, they had power lines down outside their door, too, Tammy. 16 WABG's at Us Brown shows us how folks are cleaning up after this storm. We just heard like a very alarming noise, it's like a crash. That noise jolted Amanda Furge awake around 4.30 Monday. She, her parents, and two toddlers all asleep when a tree crashed in front of their home. You know, we got small children in there, so the first thing you do is, is everybody okay? But is anything going to catch on fire? The family called the fire department. They raced to the house, cleared a path, and got the family out in about 10 minutes. We all had things to do today, and the tree falling was not a part of the plan. The tree knocked down several power lines, scraped up the side of the house, and fell right on top of cars. But it didn't go through the home. Even after the family got out safely, still a dangerous situation on the street with live power lines stretching across the road. JPD watched those power lines throughout the morning, turning away drivers. The family grateful this was just a close call and no one was hurt. It was just a reminder, you know, like something can get close, but it won't get you. In Jackson, Hadass Brown, 16 WAPT News.